everyone here in this video we're gonna be talking about how to customize an ODS style template in previous video we learned what ODS is how do we use to produce the SAS output in different applications like PDF Excel or doc if you have not seen that just go back and check that out link is given in the description section in the previous video we also learned how can we use predefined different styles to design our templates in different output delivery applications okay now here we're gonna learn how to customize those templates before we jump to that it is important that we understand the elements of a table which is generated in any procedures right so this is the first thing which is called nothing but title then in the table the upper part which you see this this is nothing but called the header now this part is known as row headers and this entire area is referred to be as body and these linings which you see as columns and rows these are nothing but called the tables grid all right so these are the elements of a standard table now we gonna be learning about how to customize existing style templates according to our usage right so here we are now in order to learn that first we need to generate a table right so what we're going to do is we're going to create proc frequency i'm going to create a frequency table and the data which i'm going to use is cars table which is available in sas help library and i'm going to create a frequency basis on type cars type that means now once this is created what i'm going to do is i'm going to produce that i'm going to deliver this in pdf right so i would say ods pdf file and then here i would be providing the location and here i would apply the style the predefined def uh, predefined style which i have is the one which i'm going to use over here is tc in previous video i showed you how to get the list of all the predefined templates just do not hesitate or forget to check that out okay now here uh, we need to say ods pdf close this is done now all that i need to do is just provide the location where i want to produce this output and then at the end i am going to give the file name so the file name i would say freak ods dot pdf which is nothing but the format now as soon as you do this here you can see this pdf file is created and this has the daisy format applied into it you see this is the format has been applied over here now we will start changing these formats right so first thing which i am going to cover today is changing this header settings all right how can we change these header fonts and etc all right so stay with me i'm just going to explain you how we're going to do that so for that what we're going to do is we're going to say proc template and then we're going to run this and over here we will say edit sorry edit and then what we're gonna do over here is we're gonna choose a style which we want to use that is from styles library and the style which i want to edit is daisy but when i do the editing the original one i don't want to be changed so i would create a copy of this just by saying as styles.daisy custom let's say custom and this is the style which i will be using over here now this is the first line which we need to write when we are starting with editing anything right now we need to use this keyword and after this you're going to specify which element of the table that you are going to edit so here we are going to edit header and you just put a slash over here and then you're gonna say end now sorry please bear with me 
I would just need to say end. Oops, this is by default taking it again, again, but that's one, that's okay, okay. Now, before this, I also need to use one semicolon. Now, over here, you can provide all the formattings for the header. What all are the formattings that we can apply? I'm going to show you one by one. Well, so the first thing which I will start changing is background color. Do you see the background color is gray? I'm going to make it red. So how can I say that? So I just need to say background color equals to, let's say red. All right. And let's run this again and check this out. There seem to be some problem. Be with me. I'll just fix it. What is it saying? Parse environment were left open you might be missing end statement is it let me just see that yes i don't need to do this okay just run this again and check this out so here i'm expecting yes it is exactly the way i wanted it to be see the header background is changed now let's make another change which is called foreground do we have that let me just remove this from here and then we're gonna say foreground just say foreground equals to let's say white let's see if this works i'm not sure if that's gonna work let me just try it out and just check it out oh it just worked right now similarly what we can do is we can change the font color as well right first let's try changing the font size font size i'm just going to make it let's say 10 and then i'm going to say font face equals to arial and then i'm going to say font weight i'm going to say bold all right so this much this much of the formatting i'm going to change in header part let's see if this works there seem to be some error let's check this out what the error is font size is not acceptable font face is not acceptable so there seem to be a different keyword let me just write it write down the correct keyword all right well so the problem which we have over here is not the keyword but the semicolon right so these semicolons are not required over here just hit run button and here we got it right just execute this and then here we're gonna have all those things populated over here bravo you see this is looking ugly but all that i wanted to show you is how can we make the format changing over here now just let me know in the comment section what sort of changes you would like to have in header and i would like to answer you in the comment section itself and in the next video we will learn how can we make changes in the row headers and so on until then happy learning wish you very